Good day everyone, I'd like to welcome you to this uh, PIC programming tutorial on assembly language and uh, this uh, tutorial is titled Getting Started. My name is Daniel Martel, I'm going to be your host for the next 10 or 15 minutes and I'm going to walk you through the uh, basic steps that uh, you need to, to go through in order to, uh, to get started. So I'm going to start by just giving you a, an highlight, an overview, quick overview of the quick steps here. Then I'm going to uh, get uh, in a little more detail, step by step, what needs to be done. And I'll also point you to uh, the, where you can find additional information. So bear with me. I'm just going to go quickly through these uh, six steps. So the, the very first step is, is about pick selection. So you have to uh, select what, what pick you're going to be working with uh, pretty early in, in the cycle. Uh, because um, when you do programming, assembly language programming, it's uh, it's pick dependent. So if you decide to change the uh, uh, the, the pick that you're going to be programming on, that might be impacting the assembly language itself. So it's it's important to to make a decision early as of what pick you're going to be uh, using and I'll give you some hints on how to do that in a few minutes. Uh, the second things you want to do is you want to order your material. Uh, a lot of the material you're going to need to do this is, is not readily available at the uh, the corner store. So this is stuff that you will most likely have to order and you might have to wait a couple of weeks before you receive everything you need. So um, the sooner the better. And there's a number of things you can do as you are waiting for your material to be shipped. So you don't waste any time uh, uh, doing stuff that could be done later. Just order the material right away and, and then do the other stuff that uh, you could do uh, before you receive the material. Uh, step number three, you're going to have to locate, uh, select, download, and install uh, the, uh, the software that you're going to need to uh, to work your project. And, and that software is called IDE. And I'll get into uh, a little more details around what an IDE is. But essentially, it's it's a virtual workshop that you're going to be using to, uh, to work your project. Uh, at step number four, um, you will have to to get familiar with the uh, the pick data sheet. So once you as uh, the you selected your pick in uh, step number one, uh, now you will have to to go on to the manufacturer website and uh, download the data sheet. And you will have to print some of them, not all of them. Like there's 150 pages sometime in those uh, data sheet. Just print the one that that you need, and you need to to get familiar. So you're gonna spend some time reading this and understanding how uh, the architecture of these uh, little devices are. Step number five, this is where you're going to start learning the assembly language. Um, and uh, I'm going to point you to pretty good web pages where and uh, website where you can find the, uh, the tutorial to do this. Uh, by uh, all means, I'm not going to, uh, to deliver a tutorial myself because there's a number of tutorials already available are pretty good. It's just a matter of finding the right stuff. And, and this is my, uh, my objective here, helping you finding the, uh, the stuff you need so you don't waste time. And, and finally, step number six is uh, get uh, started with your, with your project. Okay, so let's start about pick selection. So if you want to make your life easy, just uh, follow my advice and go ahead and order a 16F84 or 16F84A, it doesn't matter. This is a very common uh, microchip uh, device. Um, it's, it, the, the, the nice thing about this device is it's readily available. There's an, it's been around for a while. There's an, a lot of information available in this. There's a lot of project. There's a lot of discussion forum. There's so there's a lot of stuff you can find. So so when you work with something new, uh, you 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 need a lot of background information, a lot of uh, information, and that is uh, a, a good selection. That's a good starting point because if you Google that 16F84, uh, you'll you'll see that there's a lot of things available. Uh, you can find simple project like a, a lead blinking project very easily uh, to find. Uh, there's a lot of material. So, I mean, you don't have to start with this one. Uh, you can pick whatever you want. But if when you, when you pick the, the when you select the pick you want to be working on, just make sure that there's a, a, a lot of information available and you can get the data sheet easily. You can find project. You, you can find discussion forum and all that on on the, on that uh, on the pick. Uh, then it's a matter of ordering the material now. Now that you know what what pig you're going to be working with, I mean you uh, 
very often they're not that expensive like they're cost less than ten dollars you you might want to order two just in case you uh, you ruined one uh, and you're gonna need the breadboard and also you're gonna need a, a, a pick programmer uh, the pick programmer I mean you could go with the uh, the one from microchip the, this one is pretty uh, it's pretty good uh, it's it's a bit pricey though it could be around fifty dollar uh, there's another option you can you can go with uh, w with some other devices much cheaper and I'll talk about that I I in a second but uh, nevertheless you can order all that from your favorite supplier I have uh, uh, DigiKey is the one that I use uh, I mean this uh, they're they've always been good to me the price is right they ship quickly they, they have pretty good inventory whatever is uh, your favorite most likely you're gonna have to mail order that stuff uh, because once again it's not something that you can find pretty easily in the now the pick programmer if you if you go on eBay you'll find a pretty good selection of uh, pick programmer I'll just give you a few advice like the one that I'm showing now is 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 pretty much comparable or similar to the one I order as you can see it's pretty inexpensive only nine dollar and it's free shipping well, that's, it's going to take a while before you receive it. Uh, five to six weeks before it gets shipped because that comes from China. But, uh, I mean, uh, the, the things you have to look for when you order that PIC programmer is three things. Uh, the first thing is you want to make sure that it's uh, a USB cable because most likely you're going to be connecting this to your PC and um, the USB cable interface is, is the easiest one to get. So just make sure that it's a uh, USB cable uh, capable and if it comes with the USB cable it's even better. Second thing you need the ICSP cable and, and connection. ICSP means uh, means that it could be a programming and serial because if you look at the device itself uh, you'll see there's a socket so there's two ways you can program the chip. You either put the, the pick itself on that socket and uh, you program directly on that socket and then you remove the the chip from that socket and put it back in your circuit or you can use that ICSP cable here and connect the cable in between your programmer and program your pick right on the board which is uh, a little more convenient it's slower but it's more convenient so I would suggest that if you were to order one of these uh, devices make sure that it has the capability of doing the uh, uh, the serial uh, programming here. Uh, ICSP means internal circuit serial programming. That's what IESP stands for. I was looking for that just a few seconds earlier. Now, if we, the, the other thing that's pretty important is to make sure that the pick that you selected is supported by your programmer. So uh, on the uh, on the EB, eBay description, if you look at the long list of uh, devices there, just make sure that the pick you selected is supported and you're good. If you're on a budget, by all means, order these programmers. They work just fine uh, and they're pretty inexpensive. Uh, but uh, otherwise, if, if you go with the microchip one, the uh, this, this one here, I mean, this, this one is, uh, it's a little more convenient because, first of all, you're going to receive it much faster and uh, it, there's much more information available on this. I mean, if uh, you're going to have the data sheet and all the instruction and all that, and there's going to be a number of people who've purchased that, so you can you can ask for a discussion forum. But if you go with this, you're pretty much uh, stuck on your own. Uh, the instruction very often is, is a bit limited. It comes with a little CD that you have to, uh, to pop in in your... Uh, PC and, and, and install the software and figure out the works and all that so anyway uh, it worked for me I mean it's uh, it's a little more work but it's uh, it's uh, the price is right uh, then we get into the the third step which is the uh, the development software so I've told you previously it's called IDE ID stands for integrated development environment so that's the software you're going to need to um, to work your uh, your assembly language uh, coding um, for uh, your project. Uh, the, the good news about the this is it's uh, th there's it's it's pretty easy to find. I mean if, if you Google uh, pick uh, ID on, on, on Google you, you'll get a number of uh, these things available. The first one that shows up is the uh, the one from microchip uh, the MPLAB uh, XID and this one is, is free so it's uh, 
you can't beat that price it's free it's well done and another thing that's interesting about this one is uh, there's a lot of uh, tutorial uh, information available so this is not necessarily an easy software to to learn it's going to take you a couple of hours to to walk you through this and and to start to understand how it works uh, but the good news is uh, on the microchip uh, web page you can find a number of pretty good tutorial either in form of PDF documents or if you go on YouTube you'll see a number of videos there so I'm not going to waste my time teaching out you to to to, to use this because it's uh, there's plenty of information available just Google uh, ID tutorial and you'll find uh, a bunch of information the uh, the next thing is to get familiar with the data sheet. So that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty tough one. I mean, it's, uh, well, the easy part is to get the uh, the data sheet itself. All you need to do is once again you just Google with the uh, the pick number. So I'm going with the 16F84 here. And a little trick here: just put a space there in PDF, and that's going to show you the the PDF document. That's the, is the actual data sheet. If you don't do that, it's probably going to bring you to uh, a data sheet uh, catalog, and then you have to use some kind of a download engine, and it's most likely going to download some other software that you don't need and it, you walk through a, a number of uh, little issues so make your life easy just uh, put a space PDF there and uh, download the one that start with a PDF here so do you make sure that you have the uh, data sheet now this is what a data sheet could look like uh, don't be uh, too much uh, intimidated by the size of the document it could be like 130 pages or so and they're pretty thick document don't print all that you don't need all that stuff you probably want to print the few dozen of pages though uh, all the way and I would suggest that you you read through this all the way down to the instruction set summary here just make sure that you get into that to that section and I uh, mean please take a look there uh, especially when you get into uh, the uh, the architecture of the uh, the microchip this is something you you're gonna need to understand in order to program in assembly language so you're gonna have to spend a little time here to to understand that now uh, to make your life a little easier in that respect there's a, a pretty good web page here so now I'm getting into the step of doing the assembly language but just before I do that uh, there's a pretty good uh, tu uh, tutorial on this web page here and see if it if I can get this to work yeah right on okay so if you walk through this uh, it's gonna give you a pretty good overview of uh, what uh, the the um, the programming is like and especially if you go on to chapter one here uh, if you go on chapter one here it's going to give you an overview of how the uh, the picks are built what's in the pick and uh, the way the way it works and it talks about the binary coding here it talks about the exadecimal so this is a pretty good resource uh, to to get the information you need so this is something I would uh, strongly suggest that uh, that you go uh, now this is the introduction there's a couple of links here for tutorial on learning assembly language and the good way to to to, uh, to handle this I mean forget about the uh, the video clips that doesn't work because you cannot watch a video and, and do uh, the programming at the same time so you really have to go onto this type of uh, tutorial where you actually get a document and, and once you have the the, the document itself uh, I would strongly suggest that you print this out and and then you can start reading uh, through this stuff and as you you go through it you'll see that it, it shows you how to uh, create the instructions <laughs> if I can get there let me scroll down a little bit see you're getting in the first instruction here move LW and it's going to show you how to uh, to create commands and as you're learning this uh, you will most likely want to type these commands into uh, your uh, IDE and, and start uh, giving this a try so this is why I I truly suggest that that you take one uh, a tutorial like this one you download that tutorial uh, you print it out and and use this as you enter these commands into uh, the the IDE software so there's a couple of tutorials here you want to take a look at they're pretty well done there's an advanced one here that you eventually that you want to be uh, using and 
and finally uh, as uh, as a second step or it could be a previous step so it doesn't really matter if you do that be so before or after but this is something you need to learn uh, binary and hexadecimal is a, it's a mandatory skill uh, to understand uh, how to program a pick. So if you already have that skill, if you already want to do this, you, you already know about binary and hexadecimal, that's fine, you don't have to, to pay attention, but if you you don't know what that is, there's a couple of tutorial here, and there's a couple of good ones on, on, on YouTube as well. So you just you just go on YouTube and, and put in like a binary hexadecimal tutorial and you'll find all kinds of good stuff there. Uh, but this is something you need to uh, to go through. And finally, we get to create your first project. So what I suggest you do here is, is you, you take something simple. Don't start with something complicated because you, you, that doesn't work. Uh, start with something very simple. On uh, the link that I put down here, there's a, a document. And if you go on page 15, let me, let, let's wait a second for this to open. And we'll, we're going to go to page uh, 15. Uh, 19, 16, 15, here we go. So on page 15 there's a little diagram here, a uh, very simple project, it's a, it's a blinking LED and uh, obviously you've got all the instruction to, to run the, the, this program. So I would urge you to, uh, to, to take something like this, very simple, as a starting project, get this to work, because once this works, it means that everything else uh, is is working. Your programmer is working. Everything else, the the transfer, everything is working. And then after that, as you had complexity, just do one little change at a time. So if it doesn't work, you can always roll back to the previous step and, and understand everything uh, still works. Uh, keep good notes. Save your files often. Uh, and by all means please try uh, try something simple to start and as you get comfortable with this you're gonna move on move along with more complex projects uh, thank you very much for watching this video my name is Daniel Martel and I wish you good luck with your journey into pick programming for assembly language